Hey guys, this is Anish Jindal, and today we're going to be learning about the circular reveal animation that Google added in Android 5.0, Lollipop. So what the animation does is it essentially makes a view or any basically any part of your layout um, appear in a very nice manner. It really does look nice, and I'm going to show you some um, demos of how it is used in uh, Google Apps. So first, let's look at Messenger. Um, let's just send a message to one. Um, okay, so watch. When I start typing a message, watch what happens to the um, row right here. So let's have, I type in A. Do you see how like a the send button kind of just appeared like like just watch the reveal, okay? It um it's a circular reveal. That's what it is. It kind of grows out of like a center circle and grows into a bigger one. And um, that's, it's just a really nice way of doing it, you know? Instead of just the view appearing, the send button just appearing, it kind of just nicely animates onto the screen. Um, another app that uses it pretty nicely is the dialer app. Um, so if you watch this uh, button down here, when you start, uh, when you search for a name, you don't need that button anymore. And it kind of just like disappears. And when you go back, it reappears like that. So that's another example. And I think probably one of the coolest ones is actually the calculator app. It uses it a little bit differently. So watch, if you do 1 plus 1 equals 2, okay? Great, you have your answer. Watch what happens when you click clear. There was that really nice animation of like, I'm going to do it again, how it kind of like starts here and just grows like a circle um, and eventually fills up the whole display. And then they just... Uh, made it disappear. But it's just, you know, a nice way of you can, there's, it basically shows that there's not one way, like a specific way you have to use these animations. You don't have to just use it to make something appear. You could even do something like elegantly deleting something from the screen with a clear animation, if you know what I mean. So in this demo, um, basically what we'll be doing is, uh, see there's a button here that says show text, and when you click on it, you get a nice animation like that. When you click on it again to hide the text, it disappears pretty nicely. So here I've already made a project and I have all I've done is kind of create the uh, layout for it which um, just has a button and a um, text view and I set the background to be just a color. Uh, I can show you how I did that. Um, you know it's just you just see the background, Android color, you can put anything you want. This is just a built-in one, so I went with it. But it's really pretty straightforward. Um, you know, just a button and a text view. But now I'm going to do something just, well, now that you know that's there, I'm just going to hide the uh, view. So visibility is invisible, okay? So now it looks like, well, when it renders, okay. It's not visible anymore. And that's, if you remember how the app started, you can see it. And obviously, because you want to show the text, it shouldn't be visible in the first place. Okay. And then the other thing I've done is just, you know, I just created a button variable and a text view variable, and I binded them to their um, respective views. Okay. So, actually, the way you do the animation is pretty straightforward, and it's nice because Google actually provides some pretty nice um, documentation on how to do it as well. So, what we're doing is... Uh, well, first we're kind of listening for when the button is clicked to show the view. Actually, let me put it side by side. That'll look nice. Um, okay. So, um, you know, it's listening for when we click on is being slow on me. There we go. Okay. So, it's listening when we uh, click on that. So we're just doing a button uh, set on click listener new on click listener. We've done this before. Um, I'll keep the um, I'll put the links in the description if you need it. Okay. So now to actually do the animation, we're going to copy the code from Google, and I'll show you how to do that. So um, you could just Google circular reveal animation. I'll also put the link to this in the description, but. You scroll down and you see, oh, we want to use the reveal effect. Okay, so um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, to reveal a previously invisible view using this effect, you need this code. Great, let's copy the code. 
So this happens when they click on click. Okay, great. Okay, and let's just fix these comments here. Okay, and also we have to import these. I'm not sure how you do it on Windows, but on Mac it's uh, control space. Another thing you can do is um, just delete the last letter and type it in again and it'll show up. So we're just importing the classes that it uses. And um, okay, and also this is the view they're currently editing. You see they're using my view, my view. We don't actually need this because we already created our view. So delete that. And instead of doing my view, we're actually just you know calling this on the button or text view. So just put text view in the place, everything there. Text view. Text view, text view, text view. Okay, great. So if you notice, this actually starts complaining. It says call requires API level 21 or higher. And currently we have the minimum set to 15, which is ice cream sandwich. So I was saying this animation was actually added in uh, Lollipop, which means you have to do something differently if the device is running an OS lower than Lollipop. And luckily that's also really easy to do. So we'll just put if, uh, if, um, and then you do build um, dot uh, version version dot SDK int which is greater than or equal to 21, which is uh, lollipop. I'm going to put all of this in that if statement. Okay, so now this only runs if it's uh, lollipop. And what to do in the case it's not lollipop? Well, we just do um, no animation text view dot set visibility view dot uh, now it's visible okay so now if we ran this um, when you click on that you'll get this animation um, and if you're not on lollipop or if you're on lower it'll just appear like that there won't be an animation okay so now we also have to make it um, disappear so what's the condition to make it disappear well the thing is right now um, the button it's you know, you have to kind of distinguish between when you want to hide it and when you want to show it. So we're actually going to add um, just one more if statement here. And we'll actually add it up here. So if the um, button.getText.toString.equals, dot equals, if it is show text, you know, that's when we're going to want to, um, you know, do this. Uh, you know, show it, obviously. So, uh, basically, the other condition is that it's not show text. Instead, it says hide text. So, then we're also have, going to have to change the, um, I'll do it underneath it, button dot set text to um, hide text. Okay. And we also have to do it down here. Button dot set text hide text. Uh, just to kind of say again what this is doing, um, basically after the animation completes we want to change the text to hide text because the next time when you click on it this will not evaluate to true so it'll call the else which will then which will put the code for hiding it. So again let's just refer to our um, the code from the website to hide a previously vis visible view using this effect now we use this code. So you can just copy it and paste. Uh, fix all the comments. Okay, again, so you just delete the last letter so it pops up a suggestion and just uh, import what's needed. Again, we have it, we already know what view we're using, so we don't have to set it. It's a text view. Text view, T text view. Okay, but again, this only can work if um, the OS allows it. So, build dot version dot SDK and greater than or equal to twenty one. Okay, great. And we'll put all this in it. Else. Um, Text view dot set visibility to view dot visible. Okay. 
and then we also have to do the same um, set text set uh, oops button dot set text um, and then the, now this will be show text and likewise down here uh, button dot set text show text and now I'll show you guys what this does and then I'm going to show you some other things that uh, you can do to change your animation even further but now if you just ran this it would work and I'm going to show you how that looks now so running this uh, if you click on show text and hide text it does work but if you notice in the demo I had the reveal started from right underneath the button and grew downwards instead of from the center and I thought that just kind of looked cool because it's like it's growing from the button that you clicked on so how would you implement that well it's pretty straightforward actually so um, what you see here is CX and CY that stands for center X and center Y and right now it's just calculating the width divided by 2 and the height divided by 2 so really the coordinates are right in the center and that's why it's um, doing everything from the center because uh, this uh, function creates circular reveal the CX is the starting uh, X coordinate CX is starting Y coordinate the zero is the starting radius and then the final radius and the final radius is just um, basically the largest uh, like dimension of the view you don't need to change any of that don't change any of that it, this works fine but let's say you know we wanted to start from the um, top how do we do that well, it's actually important to know that the uh, origin of this uh, coordinate system is actually the top left corner. And it actually goes positive x, positive y. So that's why, um, you know, 0, 0 is there, but two positive values put you right there in the center. But what do we want to change? So we want the x to remain at the center, but now the y needs to be 0, right? Because that means the coordinate the coordinate for like the starting point will be center of x and 0 for y and that's right there and another thing we want to change is um, well, we also need to change the same, same thing down here basically the ending we want it to go back to where it started so basically when you close it it'll shrink back to the center x top of y and now I'll show you how that looks so when we run this and we click on show text you'll see that it kind of it grows from the point we specified which is the center x which is uh, get width divided by 2 and then 0 y which is just the top because remember the origin is 0 0 is right there this is the positive x direction this is the positive y direction and then also hide text does the same thing it grows from there okay so that's nice now let's change another thing we can also change speed okay so we can do anim dot set duration let's make this really fast like 50 milliseconds by the way that's in milliseconds yeah and um, then let's do the uh, when it disappears to be really slow like two seconds set duration okay let's see how this runs so now when we click on show text look how fast that was it's really fast and now when we hide text it's so slow but that's what we specified so you know it does it now look at this so just last thing I'm going to show you but when you click on hide text you see how it immediately changes to show text but the animation hasn't even finished yet there's a way around that and like personally I think it looks better if it you know it changes after the animation finishes but really the bigger idea here is that you can specify something to happen after the animation finishes because you are notified when the animation finishes. It's actually right here in the on animation end. You know, we've done listeners before with on click, uh, you know, on options menu item selected. Now we have a listener for the animation, and that's just on animation end. And really all we're doing is, well, that we're going to set the text after the animation uh, finishes. And that's basically it. So you can put so much more here. You could even um, do the same with. Um, you know the uh, the reveal you can do an anim dot uh, you know add listener 
and um, you'll be basically uh, it'll run when the animation finishes. So let's see how this looks after we uh, put the set text in the on animation and listener. Now when we click on uh, show text, pretty fast animation there. Um, and hide text, just as we expected, it uh, waits until the animation finishes to change it to show text. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to remove the um, set durations just because, you know, they have a default speed and uh, the other ones were kind of extreme, too slow or too fast. There is just one other thing I want to show you. I'll show you this after I um, remove those. I also want to show you how it looks on older Android versions. This is Marshmallow, um, which is greater than Lollipop. However, I want to show you how it looks on something that doesn't support these animations, how it kind of just appears, and uh, that's what we expect, you know, because we we're only running this if the SDK is greater than 21. However, uh, I just want to show you that this still does work if you include these um, if statements. Otherwise, the app will just crash. So here's the final, um, I guess, demo. It works just as expected. And uh, what's really interesting is what happens on a device that's not Lollipop. And that's what I'll show you. But before I can uh, do that, I actually realized I had a bug. Um, it should not stay visible here. It needs to be invisible because uh, this occurs when we're uh, hiding it. I guess I just, that went over my head. Sorry about that. But I'll show you how it looks on a device running 4.0 now. So here's the application running on a um, device with 4.0, which is Ice Cream Sandwich. And when you click on Show Text, it just um, immediately appears in High Text, immediately makes it go away. So like I was saying, the animation does not work on anything lower than um, Android Lollipop, and trying to make it do so will make the application crash. So just a quick recap of uh, what we did. So we had a layout that had a... Um, uh, uh, let's see. The layout had a text view and a button, and uh, well, we'll wait for that to load. Uh, you can see it. So yeah, there's a uh, button, text view which is hidden, and then all that's going on is uh, there's a button dot set on click listener, and most of this code was just taken from the Android developers website. Uh, but basically, the main things to notice are you're specifying kind of the starting and uh, the starting location, which I remember the coordinate system starts top left corner, and then to the right is uh, positive x and down is positive y. Um, you can set duration. We don't have that here. You have to take uh, care or take into consideration that it only works on SDKs greater than 21, and then you can also add animation uh, and listeners. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, as always, please let me know. And I hope this video was helpful.